So we are here today to demonstrate the Chabad Lubavitch custom in putting on a talit. I am proud to say that my family has been Lubavitch Hasidim for seven generations now. My name is actually, my second name, Mordechai, is uh, after the Alter Rebbe's brother, the founder of Chabad Hasidism, Rabbi Shneir Zalman, had a brother, Rabbi Mordechai, who I am a descendant of, and I carry his name, so this is my family's custom, the Lubavitch custom in how to put on a talit. The custom of putting on a talit is found in the Torah, it's mentioned twice, and by Midbar we find in Numbers chapter 15, verses 37, 41, the famous third portion of the Shema, the Vayomer, Vayomer Hashem, or Moshe Limor, and Hashem spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and order them to make fringes for themselves in the corners of the garments. And the purpose being, and remember all the commandments of Hashem and do them. By wearing tzitzis regularly, we instill within ourselves an awareness of Torah mitzvahs. By, by keeping God's commandments, we form the framework for a sanctified life replete with eternal values and closeness to Hashem. And this is what the Torah tells us, to remember God's commandments, and be holy unto Hashem, unto your God. So, we begin by, I started already, holding my talit like this, and we check to make sure, before putting on and saying a blessing, we want to make sure that it's kosher, and no torn strings, and that they're all perfect, and the knots are tied tight, so that they don't untie. Here we have the corner of the tzitzit, and those who are familiar with the numerical value of the Hebrew alphabet, the word tzitzit is spelled tzaddik yud, tzaddik yud, tough. Tzaddik being 90, yud being 10, tzaddik being 90, yud being 10, plus tough 400, equals 600. We're left with, and as we explained, the tzitzit are to remind us of all God's commandment. We're left with 600. A known tradition is that the eight strings, one, two, four on each side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the five knots, one, two, three, four, five, equal 13. We now have, with the numeric value, and the eight strings, and the five knots, six, 13. Just a uh, interesting aspect of remembering God's commandments, how it is hinted in the actual numerical value of the word tzitzit, and the eight strings and five knots adding up to 613. We now open up the tzitzit by lifting it and letting it fall down with the lining on the outside. And we now turn it around over our heads, beginning the blessing before placing it on our heads of Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam. We will not conclude it yet. We will first demonstrate <coughs> We now take, we help with our left hand, take the two tzitzis on the right hand side and put it in our right hand. We now help with our right hand, our left hand, take the two tzitzis on the left side and put it in our left hand. We now place the talit over our eyes but not covering our mouth. And we conclude the blessing and we now wrap the right side over with the tzitzis going over the right side and the left strings up on our upper left side of our chest and we continue with the verses we now let go and wrap the talit, fold it over neatly, and we continue praying our morning prayers throughout davening, wearing the talit as such. <laughs> La 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 la